from the Morongo Casino Studios, it's the Heidi and Frank Show on 95.5 KLOS and KLOS HD1. Los Angeles. Howdy, Frank Show, 9 o'clock. Normally on Wednesdays, 9 o'clock, we do celebrity playlists, and uh, we have a celebrity come in, but we couldn't find any celebrities, so we invited Greg Grunberg down there. <laughs> uh, no, Greg's already done that segment of the show. I have. The celebrity yeah. playlist, which was awesome. Can you ring someone's doorbell from inside the house? <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, we didn't do that, did we? No. Ding oh. dong. Oh. Sorry. Well, Pull back old, the curtain. You're an old friend. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah you don't have to ring the doorbell anymore. He just, just comes in. Hello? Exactly. We're back are you, here. Are you decent? <laughs> <laughs> and then he walks in. We're never decent. Yeah. No, never. Uh, Greg Rumberg and uh, Nick Marzok, thank you both for coming in. It's good to see you, Nick, thank again. Thank you. I mean, yeah. Greg, you introduced us to Nick uh, several what, months ago. Yeah. When you moved, first moved out from New York. And yeah. So you've been living in L.A., doing the L.A. thing. How, how, you like, how you liking it? It's different. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? What's the major difference between New York and L.A. for uh, you? The pace is so much slower. I'm, like, I'm East Coast. I'm like, let's do this thing now. And everyone's like, eh, we'll get to it. Let's just yeah, relax. Yeah, let's surf go to the time. beach, man. Yeah. Yeah. Chill out, my friend. <laughs> Chill out. Relax. <laughs> yeah. I'm, trying to, I'm sort of introducing him to a bunch of people, you know, just kind of. Oh, yeah. Helping him out. My wife and I uh, call Nick our oldest son. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like it. Yeah, and they're like, it no, right you the group. have? You don't seem old enough to have. Oh, oh I, I just uh, turned fifty. <laughs> you did. Happy yes. birthday! Happy Thank birthday. you. Thank you very much. You look good, man. You do look Thank good. You. Yeah, you do. I'm just expanding the skin so it doesn't wrinkle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just keep growing it. Uh, no, it's 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 exciting. I mean, I haven't even thought about it, but. You know, I spend. You want to be fit or look young? <laughs> right. Those are your choices exactly. at your age. <laughs> Can't have both. <laughs> and you guys let it out of the bag. My high school nickname. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah uh, cr- crumb jock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> jock crumbs. Jock crumbs. Jock. Chalk crumbs. I used to walk around the uh, the locker room and go, "You gonna eat that?" Yeah. <laughs> and nothing but his jock strap. Yeah, you gonna eat that? Looking for crumbs in other people's jock straps. Oh, you can God. have it. You can have it. Take crummy. it. It's crummy. All yours. Crummy. <laughs> my nickname is Grunny, and it's so funny that you say that because I was at a concert and this guy sees me, he hasn't seen me since high school, and he's like, "Crummy." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm with my son, and my son turns and he's like, "Our last name is Grunberg, not Crumberg." Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole uh, story, it's, 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 son. Not, not ready for it. <laughs> yeah, locker room stories. Right. Uh, you've been busy as hell, Greg. Yeah. You yeah. got a, a new book called Dream Jumper. Yeah, I've got, and uh, the Washington Post just chose this as one of the top seven books to read this summer. How let's, cool is let's, that? That's awesome. It's a it's a graphic novel. I partnered with an amazing illustrator, Lucas Turnblum. So my son had a crazy dream. And he wakes up and it's like a nightmare. And I'm like, Ben, you know, I'm trying to put him back to sleep, whatever. And I said, tell me, what is it? And he said, it was, it, I wasn't in my dreams. I was actually able to jump in and out of my friend's dreams and save them from their worst nightmares, like a superhero. And I was like, what? Dad, it's going to go get his laptop. Don't Let go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I got notes. Right. It's my job as a parent to take advantage of my son, right? That's why you had him. Yeah, that's why I am. Exactly. Um, at the bar mitzvah, I collect the envelopes. You know what I mean? It's, it's my job. Um, but anyway, he uh, for, out of that, I met uh, Lucas Turnblum at Comic-Con, which is coming up, uh, a few years ago. And Lucas is an amazing illustrator. And he did all of this incredible work. We wrote the book together. Scholastic bought it, uh, and it's so it's in all. It's going to be in all the Scholastic book fairs. It's everywhere right now. Am- Amazon, Congrats. and the movie rights have already been sold. Yes, yes. JJ is uh, going to direct it. Well, no, that we don't know. Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah, yeah, slow down. You, you got an in. Uh, yeah, because you are going to be in the Star Trek Beyond. Yeah. which premieres next week. Now, is it premiering at Comic Con? You say? Yeah, they're doing this incredible thing. There, it's the first time they were ever doing an outdoor IMAX. IMAX theater. So, I mean, IMAX screen, outdoors. There's an orchestra. They're going to play live. Michael Giacchino, who, who's an award, you know, Academy Award yeah. winner music. He's doing the music, and it's just going to be in a Good huge Lord. event. And I'm down there with Kevin Smith doing a bunch of stuff anyways. And you guys are Don't going, we have right? tickets yeah, for that? Uh, yeah, we have tickets to give away. I have a pair of one-day passes to uh, Comic-Con. It's going to be in San Diego, July 21st, July 24th is the event, but I have a pair of uh, one-day passes. So uh, 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 I'm thinking with the uh, Pokemon Go thing being so big right now, Crazy. I mean, Comic-Con is, is going to be ridiculous with people doing it. Well, po- people are going to bump into each other down at Comic-Con <laughs> yeah. now. 
Comic Con is crazy to me. I mean, I, I love it. I absolutely. When I was on Heroes, I mean, can you imagine? It was just it was nuts. Insanity. But there's everyone's walking around with weapons. That's what scares the crap out of me <laughs> because they're all oversized weapons that shoot candy. But who knows? <laughs> so we're gonna need before you come in here. We're gonna need you to prove that that shoots candy. I think that lightsaber might way, be real. Yeah, they do that though. Yeah. They do that, and they don't have. Yeah, it's anyway. I don't want to put any ideas in anybody's head. <laughs> yeah, right, right. It is. Uh, it's a cool place because you get to interact, you know, and then I can put on a mask and walk around and have a good time. I have a, a show on AMC. Kevin and uh, Smith and I are doing called Geeking Out. It's going to be on after Fear the Walking Dead. So we're doing a big special Comic Con special, um, and it's going to air right at, right at Comic Con, you know, on AMC. And you're geeking out about everything that geeks would geek out on, or just everything. life? No, everything. From we have great um, unconventional interviews, like we had J.J. Abrams on the steps of the Psycho House. Have no idea how we got him. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> that was really tough. Uh, but we've got, um, uh, who else? Uh, Matt Damon. You know, Kevin's got Matt Damon. We've got a bunch of people. You know, oh, yeah, Chikino. all your friends. All of our friends. We're, we're literally taking advantage. Look, I've got- Why not? So basically- I've drained my kids dry. Yeah. What normally <laughs> we do at this segment was like walk down musical memory lane with celebrities. You're walking down geek lane and seeing like what was Matt Damon geeking out about or what does Absolutely. JJ geek out about. That's really That's cool. Awesome. I like that. Yeah. Uh, now, that, that, I got to ask you that because you were, you were Snap Wexley in Star Wars, right? Yeah. And you're also in Star Trek. Yeah. How- do the fans, as far as like say, you you either got to pick a, a camp. You can't. It's I mean, one well, JJ's, or the other. It's one or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JJ gave like me crummy. a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> crummy. Come on, like crummy. <laughs> JJ gave me a sticker that says you have to trek before you war, which is so cool. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, cool. man. I mean, look, it's not up to me. When he calls, you know, I talk to him every day. He's my best friend in the world since we were four. So when when he calls and goes, hey, you want to be in this movie? What am I say? No. And Simon Pegg was in both. Yeah. So and Simon Pegg is like he's a you know. Simon Pegg. And the trailer that just got he released the for movie. it for Star Trek is just ridiculous. Isn't it cool? Yeah. Oh my god! It's, I can't. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, and it if looks it's going to be a Comic Con, the IMAX, the outside IMAX with a live orchestra. What a night. Live orchestra. It's going to be. That's a tough ticket to get. I have to say. Um, it's a tough but, ticket to get, but I do have a, a pair of day, one day passes. So if you'd like that, uh, just be caller twenty right now. One eight hundred ninety five five KLOS. Also, I didn't tell you the name of the song to listen for in this hour because I also have some Disneyland passes. Oh, cool. where where's that info? Okay, here you go. During this hour, uh, when you hear this song being played, uh, Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. Right. Be the 20th caller then, and you will get the four-pack of tickets to Disneyland. All right? And uh, be caller 20 right now if you want those Comic-Con passes. Have you guys seen the new, like, you know, those guys in concert again? Have you seen I it? did. I saw them at Coachella. And? Awesome. Yeah. Now, the thing was, he had a broken foot. Axel broke his foot when they did that. Uh, where, where were they? Uh, they did that little pre-show. Here, oh, here in Los Records? Angeles, no one Tower Records. Where was it? The Troubadour. Oh, so the Troubadour. And That's he, right. He was there doing his thing, you know, and he, and he broke his foot, and so he had to borrow Dave Grohl's throne. And Dave had that broken leg, yeah. And so that's what he was in. But the voice was there. And awesome, was kick ass. I mean, and that's, they're going to be playing Dodger Stadium. So I mean, if you get a chance, I got to say, one of the best bands of all time. Yeah, man. It, I mean, really, I it love was those guys. it was awesome. Uh, do you know any Guns N' Roses? I can figure it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing with so Nick Marzok. He, that he can figure it out. He's an amazing musician. Thank Greg you. turned us on to him. Like I said, he moved from New York to Los Angeles. Said, you got to hear this guy. Blew our yeah. minds. Did you just bust in? I don't even think we invited you. No, I was like, hey, this guy's carrying like, my bags. <laughs> you you got to see this guy. Right? He's, like, he's like, you said stop by any time. And he actually took us up on it. And now you can, <laughs> you can go uh, see Nick Marzok. He's going to be playing the Viper Room on uh July 25th. It's you and your guitar, right? Me and my guitar. Uh, and then I'm going up. There's a Sunset Jam, too, hosted by my friend Eric Hamill. That's uh, tons of incredible musicians that are all like players for somebody. That's upstairs. So after my set, going up, everybody goes up with me, and we're going to. Uh, we're gonna Sunset. The Sunset Jam. Oh, all right. Cool. So I'm going to entice you to go and see, see Nick. And so you uh, are prepared. You have your guitar here. Do you have a guitar? And I, I heard you want to do a, a cover of Led Zeppelin. Yeah, we'll do some Zeppelin. A little oh. Zeppelin. Dude, he, right. now he just played this for me in the green room. <laughs> He's like, I'm planning to play in there. Every one of his songs I love, honestly. I just love him so much. And then uh, he starts playing this. I'm like, dude, there it is. You're playing that <laughs> song. This, the one. I've never heard a version like this before. I have to oh. disclaim it. I've never played this, so uh, I just figured it out. I figured it out. Are you literally kidding the, me? You figured it out no, in the green room? No, I was like, shoot, kidding. I need a classic rock song. And so I figured, I love this song. You I heard it. you be kidding me. yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I played around with it a while ago. I did like a little video of me playing the riff on Instagram, but I never actually played the song. So we're going to figure it out together. First time right here, <laughs> Heidi and Frank show. First wow. time, yeah. yeah. First time for here everybody. he is, Nick Marzak. <laughs> hey, mama, say the way you move. 
gonna make you sweat, gonna make me groove. <laughs> Watch out the way you shake that thing Gonna make you burn, gonna make you sing Hey baby, when you walk that way Watch your heart it drip, I can't keep away Still got a flaming heart, I can't get my fear. As the shine burning red, dreams of you going through my head. People mean by down and out And she took my money, she took my car Telling her friends she gonna be a star I don't know, but I've been told These L.A. women ain't got no soul Steady little woman gonna come my way A little woman gonna hold my head Won't tell me no lies, make me a happy man Not one lesson. <laughs> it's amazing. Ridiculous. Thank Turn you. his mic back on. Oh, Bunny's mic. Thank are you. you kidding me? Thank you. Dude, Incredible. That was so awesome, man. And Thank you. I love and it. And that's true about the green room. You had no idea. It's like, I, I yeah, need to ask yeah. Roxanne. I never played the song before. That's the first time he's ever played the song. Yeah. <laughs> he just asked my advice. He was like, what do you think? I mean, I want to play. You know, he's got this song called Numb that's just amazing. Yeah. And he's like, but I'm messing around with this. I was like, what? You are Come incredible. Thank he? you. I mean. Yeah, go see him, Viper Room, uh, yes. Monday, July 25th. And you have this Hollywood jam that happens uh, upstairs. Free. Sunset, oh, yeah. Jam, right? Free. Sunset Jam, right? Free. Sunset Jam. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The yeah. songs with the Hollywood it says Hollywood Jam here. Is that is that a thing? Hollywood Jam. That is a thing. That's at the Whiskey on Tuesday nights, hosted by my buddy Walter. So that's oh, a, that's a whole other so plug. You're, yeah, yeah. you're a busy guy too, doing all <laughs> the other stuff. Yeah, and we're doing the music for geeking out yeah. together. Uh, I was like, let's do this. Why not? Because yeah. you geek out watching him. I mean, oh, you are a true fan. I can get all. We, we all are. Yeah. Just, you know, Everyone's geeking. One yeah. of my favorite guys in the whole world is uh, um, John Mayer, and I've had the pleasure of meeting him. And then when I heard Nick, I was like, are you kidding me? John who? <laughs> <laughs> no, hardly, yeah. hardly. But I, John Mayer, Nick no. president. <laughs> exactly. That was bad. 
right? <laughs> okay. We're creating an app called Nick Marzok Go. <laughs> and when you walk around, you'll step into a Nick Marzok song. I love it. Somewhere That's in the have world. Hipsters taking a picture of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. At a diner. So good. Uh, yeah. You also are busy, Greg, with another show on the Food Network. I know. I, I'm sorry to confuse everybody with all this stuff, but th- this is exciting. I did. I've always wanted to do a You're Food Network. You're popping up more show. than Pokemon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's on, on Sunday. What they do in the, uh, on the Food Network is they shoot a pilot. And then they air it, and they see how it does. I mean, every other network will test it in malls and online or whatever. They actually air it. So they're airing it after Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives on Sunday at 4 o'clock Eastern, I believe. I think it's 1 o'clock. But it's called Nickel and Dining. Remember I had the app, Yowza, which was the yeah, mobile coupon app? So because of that, um, it's a, it, this show is all about great food, like amazing food. At really good prices, so you don't have to pay an arm and a leg to get something really that's good. And really you don't have good to, and cheap doesn't mean crap. And maybe out exactly. of the way places you might not know about little holes in the wall. I love yes, that. and and then there's a celeb that joins me for each meal. So um, let me guess, J.J. Abrams, <laughs> exactly. Matt Damon, Damon. Red John Damon. Mayer. yeah, Kevin and Smith, Kevin Smith for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the pilot, Duff Goldman, you know, King of K- the the Ace of Cakes, whatever. Duff is the greatest, and then Tia Mori. I and, hope the show's a hit because you'll just get younger and younger looking. <laughs> younger <laughs> exactly, and younger. exactly. Are you worried? Thanks for having me on this show, yeah. season three of Nickel and Dynamite. Yeah. Are you worried about gaining a ton of weight? I mean, being on a food It's kind of too late for that already, but uh, no, I, I, I'm right now trying to lose weight desperately, and that doesn't help. But we were talking about, you know, there's secrets to it. You take a bite, you go, this is amazing, cut. And yeah. you spit it out because you can't. Oh, you're doing like uh, preemie bulimia. <laughs> Exactly. Bulimia. <laughs> you don't quite swallow it. You just spit it out. Right. No, I'm going to leave vomiting. that alone it's right really there. Yeah, it. just, you know, that's how just... I met my wife. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't quite swallow it. <laughs> she spit it out. <laughs> this is She's crummy. The one. This yeah. is crummy. I can't do Creamy this. Bulimia was her nickname in college. <laughs> She's going to kill me when yeah, I get she's home. Gonna oh, oh, she's going to kill us all. Sorry, sorry Elizabeth. I love you, honey. <laughs> I really do. Uh, congratulations to Doug Bolton he, from Ventura. He won the Comic-Con ticket. So, Doug, when you're down there and you uh, see Greg run up and say, hello. Crummy. He loves, crummy. He loves to <laughs> say crummy. Yes. He'll know exactly who you are, Doug. From the other side of the ropes. <laughs> Now, you mentioned, uh, that Nick, you have another song, what, an original song called Numb? Is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, yeah, You, you want to play, uh, so play cool. us another one of your originals? Yeah, I'll play an original song. Uh, Big Sherman tune. All right. So this song is uh, it's a little, it's a rock station, so I want to play a little rock song. This is a, a rock song I wrote called Numb. Quarter past two, hidden like ghosts in an empty wild room. Streets like Sabo she knew, abandoned in black and colored in blue. But God, I waited so long since I believed I could never be wrong. Shall be better off gone. Once I come down from whatever I'm on Cause I'm a little bit numb A little bit lost A little afraid to fly And I'm a little too rough A little too drunk A little too much to like it my skin then the best touch I just let it sink in clothed in silk that she spins abandoned in love and colored in sin but when my better said shows I could be blind then you never would know but I'll stay watching below when she gets back from wherever she goes Cause I'm a little bit numb A little bit lost A little afraid to fly And I'm a little too rough A little too drunk A little too much to like it I'm fed the high 
and fell below Heaven I learned to find it I'm just a little beyond A little in love A little too much to like it Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. He, he, oh. he actually wrote that song while we were, we were talking about nickel and dining. <laughs> he, he's never even, he didn't even play that out loud before. He didn't write the lyrics he down. He wrote it as we were doing the it was, show. As nuts. he was playing it. As he was playing it, it was yeah, happening. Exactly. <laughs> what are they calling rapping? That's just like freestyle. Yeah, it's yeah, freestyle. Yeah, yeah. That's all freestyle right there. That was it. Uh, that was to get back at his old girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> just now. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> at Nick Marzok on Twitter. You can uh, follow him, find out what he's going to be doing. You're going to be at the Viper Room uh, Monday, July 25th. But I also see here you started a promotion on your Facebook page this morning. Yes. Brand new promotion. Uh, so my favorite hobby, I'm going to talk real quick. My favorite hobby is sketching. And uh, so I wanted to find a way to merge the two. So I did a portrait. This is going to gross you guys out, how oh, talented oh. Nick is. Not, not that you are, oh. aren't already <laughs> disgusted. If moms? it's a portrait of me and Heidi, and he did that at some point while he was sitting here, I will, I will crap myself. <laughs> <laughs> With his feet down here, you didn't see yeah, it. was like, oh, he's oh, yeah. he's got the charcoal best. between his big toe and his second toe. <laughs> <laughs> the timing on this is perfect because you guys are promoting Dead End Company. Yeah. So I'm doing a, a, a contest to win a free print of my John Mayer sketch. Dude, he did this. Oh my God. Come on, man. So, yeah, this is seriously. seriously. And uh, how you, why aren't you ugly, too? I mean, you, 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 yeah, you get he's a good looking dude. Yeah, seriously. Good looking and talented in many ways. Is that ridiculous? You can win this if you go to my Facebook page. Wow, uh, that's incredible. Yeah. There, I have my SoundCloud songs listed, um, so you could uh, comment what your favorite song is on the post from my SoundCloud and then share it, and you uh, also double your chances to win if you like my page. So go get this John Mayer sketch. The, I really, I would love it. The so Facebook cool. page. What Facebook the, page is just Nick Marzok, M-A-R-Z-O-C-K. Yeah. And you can win this print. Thank you so much for yeah. coming in. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. You guys, you guys are the greatest. Th Seriously, thank you for so honestly. Who <laughs> are bosses that? No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> they think we suck. Yeah, they're really <laughs> I'm going they into Max. Good. I'm going into Max right after this. <laughs> <laughs> At Greg Grunberg on Twitter as well. Got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. His book, Dream Jumper, uh, Nickel and Dining on uh, Food Network. Yeah. Also, uh, Geeking Out with Kevin Smith on AMC following yeah. uh, Fear of the Walking Dead. Yes. And then the Star Trek Beyond premieres next week. Yeah. Yeah, Woo. a lot of it's, stuff. It's crazy. You're a busy man. Busy man. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming in. I'm going to remind you about the Disney song again, the song to listen for in this hour. It is Welcome to the Jungle from Guns N' Roses. You hear that, be caller 20 at 1-800-955-KLOS. Also another song going to be at noon and at 5, so be sure and keep it here on the Rock of Southern California, 95.5 KLOS all day long. Right now, we have to pass the ball to Bob Coburn and apologize to those of you that we may have offended. Cemetery lovers, clubbers, Palm Springs, and Slimer. Jigglypuffs, Fish Bras, Lamar Odom, and Mobile Strip Clubs. Tom Brady, Alaska, Snails, and Sick Parakeets. Head and Shoulders, Child Brides, The Lilith Fair, and Tim Duncan. Softball players, Proctologists, Kung Fu Kids, and the Holocaust Museum. Chief Thunder Thud, Gary Johnson, Dolkalax, and the Yellow Team. Greg Grunberg, Nick Marzok, Nudist, and Yodelers. Nail Biters, Thumb Sucks, Suckers, nose pickers, and accidental hipsters. You really have to listen to the whole show. We are Heidi and Frank. Sports on tap.